everyone. Father Stephen coming to you from Clear Creek Abbey in the Diocese of Tulsa, Oklahoma. This is the first of two videos. The first one explaining why I am here at this place and then the second explaining why I am here in general on retreat. So you might have a few questions like why am I wearing a weird medieval cloak or what's that weird stuff on my face? The second question is easy. I'm, I'm trying to grow a beard during my retreat. And every year I ask myself, you know, self, can you grow a beard? And self normally says, I don't know, why don't you give it a shot? And so I do, and it almost always looks terrible. So by the time you see me, this will all be gone. But it's been a fun ride. And I'm wearing a medieval cloak because uh, all of our services downstairs are in like a basement that's about like a billion degrees below zero. And so this is basically like a very warm Snuggie that looks somewhat presentable. So we're here at Clear Creek Abbey, which is a Benedictine Abbey in sort of Eastern Oklahoma. They bought this place about 20 years ago and it's completely remote. I mean, it takes like an hour just to get to the highway. There are about 60 Benedictine monks who take vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience and stability to live here at this place for the rest of their life. Their main work is to pray. They have other jobs they do throughout the days. They milk some cows, they take care of some sheep, they clean some rooms. But the majority of what they do is they gather at seven different times each day, starting at 5 a.m. and ending at 9 p.m. to do what's called the Liturgy of the Hours. Now I as a priest pray the Liturgy of the Hours each day, but I can guarantee that what I pray is a um, is a very stripped down version of what they do. They do all 150 Psalms every single week, and many of them they also repeat. They gather for upwards of six to seven hours each day, just praying this Liturgy of the Hours. It's the work of the church that they do, praying for the conversion of the world, and this beautiful place allows them to do that. So it's been a real pleasure to be here, and in the next video I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, what is a retreat and why I'm on one right now. Thanks.